Hey guys, even here, and in this video I'm gonna give you some new information about Flex Wheeler and his uh, leg situation. So as you guys probably know already, his leg was amputated. Not a whole leg, it's only a part of his leg uh, from knee down. It's still horrible. He will need to uh, learn how to use the prosthetics. It's gonna be a long way to recovery. And uh, hopefully he will not be too depressed because of it, because it's a huge thing, it's really, really horrible. I can't really even imagine how he feels right now, but I'm sure he's uh, not not good, but it's gonna be better and uh, I'm sure he's strong because he's a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders have strong mentality, although Flex is known for having some uh, psychological problems, some mental problems. He was depressed, he was even uh, suicidal, as I heard uh, in this new interview, which we're gonna talk about uh, later. So, first of all, I wanna tell you, I don't have a lot of new information, really, but this is truly a sad time for bodybuilding, and it doesn't really feel right to talk about other stuff, as I did in my previous video, in this point in time, because, really, this is the legend of bodybuilding, one of the Hall of Famous, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, who got his leg amputated. When I made my previous video, I thought it was only like a part of his leg because it says partial amputation. I thought it would be like a part of quad muscle, but it's actually from the knee down. It's a, really a huge thing and at least for one day I wanna talk about Flex Wheeler, not about anything else. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Flex Wheeler, obviously, and his current situation. And we don't have a lot, sorry, I don't have a lot of information. When I get the real information and I actually find out exactly what happens from him or from somebody more reliable, I will actually give you that information as well. But as for now, what we have is this photo that he uploaded on Instagram. So obviously, he took this photo, he took a selfie. So obviously, he's feeling better, I mean, if he's able to take a photo of himself. He's not in agony, he is not in coma, he got out of the surgery and now he is on his road to recovery. It's only a matter of time when we're gonna find out exactly what happened. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be in a couple of days, but probably not longer than that. As soon as it happens, I'll update you guys, but as you can see in this photo, he didn't really write anything, he copied somebody's post. He just used the same description, it's basically some stuff about himself as a bodybuilder what happened to him, and a selfie from him, from the hospital, so there is something from him. If you guys don't have Instagram now, you know, so he's uh, awake and uh, well, as well as he can be, hopefully he is good mentally, but there is a selfie and that's something. Then we have another thing, we have an interview with Sean Ray, who competed against Flex during the 90s, and I believe they stayed friends until very recently. So he went to RX Muscle and did a 24 minute interview basically in which he talked about Flex Wheeler, but he talked about other stuff as well I guess they just wanted to have an interview to use the opportunity to make a video to earn more money And actually for the first three minutes of the video Sean Ray is just promoting his his show the Sean Ray classic over there in Hawaii So the topic of this video of the interview is Flex Wheeler and what he told Sean Ray before he went to the hospital but for the first three minutes, he's talking about his own show. He's using Flex's misfortune. The fact that Flex lost his leg, he's using that to promote his show. I mean, I like Sean Ray. He's very opinionated. He's a smart guy. He's a great commentator and so on. He's a great bodybuilder as well. I like his personality, but this is kind of low. I mean, these guys are friends. And he's using the opportunity to promote himself, to promote his show, to make more money. I mean, come on. I mean, myself making a video about this, I feel bad about it because I'm gonna get views and I'm gonna get subscribers and, and probably some money as well. But this is my job. This is what I do for a living. I make videos. So I have to make a video about something like this, about something huge like this because you guys are expecting it. And I also am not personal friend with Flex. But Sean, this is not his job. Of course not. And his personal friend with Flex Wheeler, so he's making a video about him and he's using the opportunity for three whole minutes in the beginning to promote his show. Very low, very low of Sean. Anyways, I'm gonna show you a couple of parts of this interview where he is actually talking about Flex Wheeler, so for the majority of the video he's talking about the other stuff that happened in the 90s, the competitions, his own show and so on, but for a little part of the video you don't have to watch the whole thing if you want to find out what happened. I can play you a couple of parts 
so you can hear uh, from Sean what he knows about Flex and why he underwent that uh, surgery or leg amputation. So let's play this. What? <laughs> That's better. But I don't hear anything. You're right. Are you kidding? Oops. Sorry. Not that one. This one. All right. So. Uh... But this is not something that happened overnight. It's been an ongoing struggle and a, a continuous battle for Flex. Uh, it has a lot more to do with his circulatory vascular system than it has to do with just simply his lower extremity. He's been in excruciating pain for a long time, even going back before he made his uh, infamous comeback two years ago. So with that being a consistent problem and him operating on one kidney already, um, it got to the point, Dave, where earlier this year he was hospitalized for three months, put into an induced coma while they went in there and did some exploratory vein realignment type work and uh, tried to solve the problem that way. But he was told even then that the the worst case scenario is that he may lose a limb and uh, in order to keep him alive. And uh, I guess if you got to choose between life and limb, uh, you know, Flex chose life, which I'm glad to hear because if you remember in his flexibility boot, uh, book years ago, Flex said he was suicidal a long time ago, right. uh, manic depressive, and, and had some very strong um, identity issues. And I think bodybuilding may have saved his life. But at the same time, this guy can't catch a break, man. I mean, he's been battling. It's been a struggle uh, throughout. So you heard it, guys. If you want, you can go watch the full interview on RX Muscle YouTube channel. But basically, this is pretty much the only part that he talked about Flex and about his uh, surgery about his leg amputation. So apparently it's not some kind of accident. It's not related to steroids, not related to Sintol or whatever. It's basically some kind of vascular problem that he had for a long time. He was in a chronic pain for a while. The doctors put him in a medically induced coma for three months earlier this year. So it's not really a new situation, it's something that was there for a long time, it was developing and unfortunately it ended with his leg being amputated, a big part of it, not the whole leg fortunately, but a big part of it still. He will have to learn how to use prosthetics, but you know guys, he's 54, he's not a youngster anymore, he is not even doing bodybuilding for a living now. He is a grandfather, he has children, so there is more to life than just his body because he is not an athlete anymore and this is horrible especially for an athlete i know but but i'm sure he'll be able to handle this because bodybuilders are one of the toughest athletes in the world and he was one of the best in the world in this sport so i'm sure that the, the legend the flex wheeler the, the sultan of symmetry will be able to handle this to recover properly and we'll see him smiling and talking about this and uh, laughing about it i'm sure pretty soon I'm sure he'll be able to handle the prosthetics easily and uh, he'll be like he was before, I'm sure. So, flex, speedy recovery, and you guys wish him well. I'm sure it'll be nice to send him a message, even though he'll probably never read it. I'm sure his inbox is flooded, but still, some kind of support, even in the comments, I'm sure it, it means to him, at least a little. So, guys, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. This is the new information that I got. It's not much, I know, but it's something. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, stay healthy. Bye-bye.